right guys welcome back to the PSU so after six years of me having this case right here with this computer I am finally or well unfortunately changing case and upgrading my whole system you will see it on the channel soon but before you switch PC it's always a great idea to make a good backup so today's video is about how to make a proper backup of your gaming PC your workstation PC or just your personal data in general now I'm gonna be using this store and save six terabyte drive from Verbatim. And now Verbatim is actually the sponsor of this video and they sent over their store and save, their store and go SSD, and even their new VI 7000G. Now we'll talk about the products a little bit and then we'll see how to do the backup. I'm gonna be using uh, the Nero software, uh, which Verbatim provides with those, which is actually good. Not many manufacturers provide proper software. And we're gonna see uh, how long it takes, if the reading performance are good and whatnot. Now let's talk a bit about the store and save that I'm gonna use. Now, this hard drive, uh, it is obviously a hard disk. It has a rated speed of 100 megabytes per second. And then as it uh, writes right here on the back, basically um, it can do up to 5,000 megabytes per second, the uh, USB interface. Now this, is designed with low power consumption, extreme dependability, okay, and space in mind. This is not even their biggest size, they make uh, an 8 terabyte version and they also make smaller size in case you want to save some money. And this thing costs in Italy around 150 bucks, which is extremely cheap for 6 terabyte worth of space with USB 3.0 uh, interface. Now, in case you want more performance, they also make this small thing, it's really small, and it's their store and go, and this is basically a USB uh, SSD. So this is actually fast, you can actually have your operating system in there. I will use this thing for all the games I test on the channel, so... So stay tuned for this as well. Now, what's very interesting is this. This is a 2 terabyte drive. Now you might be wondering, why do you have an NVMe 2 terabyte drive in your hands? It's because this is gonna be my new PC. Now, right now, I have a Samsung 970 EVO that I've had for too many years, and it has a 3.0 interface. It goes up to 3,000 megabytes per second. It's in there. This thing goes to over 7,000 megabytes per second, and this uh, shows that Verbatim is slowly changing. Now, you might not have heard of Verbatim because they were initially a company that was making, again, storage and was focusing on efficiency, so low power consumption, dependability, and stuff, but now, this thing, this changes everything. This is a high performance drive, like the SATA SSD that I tested, the VI550, it's on the channel, um, in the small form factor Ryzen 9 build from a while back, not many people have seen it, but this thing is them joining the high performance NVMe M.2 uh, game. This works on, PF on PS5 as well, and it has rated speeds up to 7,400 megabytes per second in read, and 6,700 megabytes per second in write, and it is PCIe 4.0. So, I say we get a good look at them, and we see what we can do with the software, and start back up in our drives. Okay, so here we are after some time, and now I've tested everything properly, and I have to say I'm very impressed by them. First of all, the small one, it's really easy to explain. You just have a single cable, you open it up, it has USB-C and also an adapter to a normal USB. You can just plug it everywhere, and it's a one terabyte drive that goes pretty fast, where you can put all your games, which is what I've done, and uh, you can game on it pretty well. So you can just have your operating system in here, and in my case, uh, whenever I change PC, because I built a new one, I can simply plug this one in, boot into my Windows 11 install in there, and test Apex Legends, Warzone, Fire Strike, my usual testing suite, straight in here, I just have to update the drivers. So this one gets a huge plus for me, and it's, again, really nice for moving around data between uh, PCs. Uh, it's quick, and it's USB-C, so perfect, extremely light, and it gets a 10 out of 10 of me, plus it's funny to see it on top of the 6 terabyte one, because that one is a chunky boy. But then again, talking about this one, now I have used this quite a bit uh, to back up my personal uh, PC, 
And now, first of all, it has vents, so this thing is not gonna overheat. Then you can plug it directly to the wall, you actually have to, and this is very important because personally I am really against a self-powered hard drive. So you can self-power an SSD, but in my opinion it's not a good idea to self-power a hard drive via USB because depending on the load and on the duration of time, there might be a slight voltage or current drop and it might lose you some data. So personally I, I like it to have a stable 12 volt power directly from the wall and you can do that via the adapter. Plus, it also has a turn on and turn off button so you can just turn it on and off when you want to. So if you turn it off, they cannot access your data even uh, if they hack into your PC. So that's a really big plus in my opinion. Now what you do is you just plug this one in the wall, plug the USB key, plug it into Windows, and then it will show up as a backup hard drive directly. It's there. At that point, you can just go into it and uh, it's very straightforward setup. It works both for Mac and for Windows. You just click on the basically start button, it's a .exe um, application in the drive, and it will show you uh, where you can uh, back up the initial um, things that are in the drive. You can just save them, so if you have to uh, format the drive, you can. And then you can install Nero, which is what this uh, hard drive runs off, and it's basically a backup software. They also have a green software to save power that will automatically disable the other when it's not being used. So you can also install that one. But now talking about Nero, it was my first time using it and I was extremely, extremely impressed by it. Uh, it has multiple options and they are all basically one click um, things. So it takes you like three seconds to back up your stuff and you can have even someone inexperienced do it. So I will start recommending those drives uh, to my clients uh, because again I build PCs uh, as a job uh, so when, when they ask if I have any backupping solution I will recommend actually they buy this thing because literally you plug it in install the software and hit on backup and it will backup and now it has mainly three modes the main mode which is what I have been using is it basically creates an entire copy an image clone of your disk in the drive so if your SSD or hard disk in the PC gets corrupted, you, you just go in here and hit uh, restore and it will just restore all your data. So that's pretty nice. But you can also select uh, to copy just certain um, paths if you want to do it more customized. So for example, let's say um, you are a video editor and you have a folder in which you save all your past project of video editing. You just tell the hard drive to back up those folders and it will back all of them up there. I will actually use that one too. I have to set it up properly, but I think it's great. And then you can also just tell it to uh, back up all your images and videos. It will automatically find all of them in your PC and just back them all up. It has a couple of standard um, paths and then it will back up your desktop and everything into here. So, and then of course it has the option uh, to restore all of this still integrated into Drive Again, amazing software, R was really impressed with it, but this is not even... <coughs> <coughs> but the most important thing is continuity. So what this does is you can set the software to automatically back up your stuff. So once you've done it the first time, if you set it up properly, and it's very easy, you just choose every how much time you want to uh, do this thing and it will do it automatically or if you don't want to have software in the background you can do it manually I will do it manually so every time um, I save a big project I will just hit um, backup and it will automatically integrate the, all the backup with the new stuff uh, so it will just add again your new stuff to your existing system image in here so it basically once you've done the first big backup in my case uh, it has an expected time of around one day to back up my full two terabytes full worth of data in my PC, which is actually pretty quick, I have to say, two terabytes, one day in a hard disk, it's good. After it has done that, the rest of the drive will remain accessible. And now this is a key part because you can save things in multiple format and in multiple options inside this hard disk. Let me give you a practical example. What I will do is have a backup inside here, which will be inside a folder. So there is a folder called backup, where inside there is my whole PC. Then I can copy selected 
folders outside of it, directly in the root location of the hard disk. This way I can access them quicker and I can also just plug the drive in another PC and access those files so I will use it for video projects. So for example, this video, uh, after I've done it, it, I will copy it in here and now let's say tomorrow I need to go find uh, a picture or a file from this video. I just go into the folder, grab it from another PC and I can just have it there. Um, but I also have my full backup of the PC in the same hard disk so you just need one and you can just leave it plugged in the current all the time with the include adapter and just turn it on and off via here and it's a hard switch so if it's turned off there is no way they can hack into it from, from your PC which is actually the reason why an external hard disk is much better than an internal hard disk to back up your data I know too many people who have internal hard disks uh, where well, they backup stuff and now that's good you can also set up rates and it's very good for redundancy but if they hack into your system or if you get a proper malware you will lose all of it whereas with an external drive you're safe so to wrap this up now i have backed up my whole pc now i can finally build my new pc so stay tuned for it on the channel and i can definitely recommend the whole Valve team lineup store and save the store and go and even the new SSD, but for the NVMe one, stay tuned because we will see it more in depth in my build. If you liked it, please drop a like and a sub, and see you in the next one, guys. Bye!